What's up guys, Resale Rabbit here, back for part two of the unboxing of the $5 unit. If you did not see part one, go look. I, I linked it down in the description. I got a lot of people wanting to know why I wasn't wearing gloves, so now I'm wearing gloves. I do not like wearing gloves. But anyways, part one, down in the description, I paid $5 for the storage unit. Brought it all here, haven't looked at any of it. Found some cool stuff so far. Um, for example, some limited edition masquerade masks, signed. I have no idea what they're worth. I have to look them up. I also found this big thing. I didn't know what it was. I looked up the model number. It was made in 2011. It is for a Samsung dryer. This part here is worth about $50 used. The big rest of it really isn't worth anything. So I will test that out by adding some power to it and um, see if it works. I also found some other good stuff, such as this big grill right here. And I've got about a half a pallet of garbage that is gonna fill my dumpster. So let's start digging into the rest of it. All right, box one. First box of this, of this unit is just some VHS tapes, nothing fancy. Let me get an exciting one. Never mind, everything's gonna collapse if I pull that box out, so we're just gonna have to work our way to it. Oi. This one, I've got, let's see, paper bag, what is in here? Scotch tape and chapstick. And in here, that's empty. Got a ring box, ooh, this could be good. We got a little ring in there. So let me take a look. It doesn't look like any precious metal. I got my loop around here somewhere I can't find. It doesn't look like it's anything special, but we do have a ring worth at least a dollar. I'll take a closer look at that later. Uh, just a little plastic cup. Let's see, we got a screwdriver. And some other junk. This looks like mostly garbage, some extra Christmas lights. Another plastic cup. Uh, this might be stamps. Let me take a look at this. Uh, no, it's not stamps. It's just little flag stickers. What else is in here? Let's see, we've got a little car adapter for a USB cord. We've got a fan. So I'm gonna pay a dollar for that. And my glove is caught in it. I don't like gloves. Let's see, I believe this is also the bag that I found that set of phones in when I first got the unit. Uh, let's see, a pen. A pin, a screwdriver. I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh, I think this is a lighter. I'm not sure how it's, oh, here we go. So here's how the lighter works. Why the gloves now? Don't be, uh, I'm gonna edit that and say pansy. Too many people commented on it. I might not wear these the whole time. We got a little lighter here. Another screwdriver. Another screwdriver and some thumbtacks. And the rest of this is clothes. Any special brands here? Let's see. Ch Chams? I don't know, I can't read the font. Holy 90s. Look at these things. Very 90s. I don't know if these are worth anything, but you know, at the very least, they'll go in the dollar sale. I'll get a dollar each for them. Jeans usually sell in those sales. All right, we've got some diapers. Little step stool. Another little step stool. What is in here? 
This is the air pump for the air mattresses that I found. So I'm going to set that aside so I can put it in with the air mattresses. Some really old printer ink. Uh, broken handle. This is the lid of a uh, Stein. Is your name Eddie? Because this will be for sale. If your name is Eddie, you want it. Maybe Mr. Lacey can come buy it. And the rest is broken stuff and a test board. We got a milk crate here. I'll get a dollar for that in the sale. Another milk crate with a shoebox on top. The shoebox is filled with cards and papers. Nothing special here. Uh, let's see, trophies for the Child's Operational Comp Junior, second place. I don't know what that is, but this one is a football cho trophy from 2013. A snowman. Uh, let's see, we got some picture frames. That's a nice looking frame. got a nice journal here with only one page used so we'll tear that out and someone will pay a dollar for that journal. Alright, we got a whole tangled mess here. This is just a coaxial cord and a cheap AC adapter. Uh, this looks like all junk. This is the cords for a converter box, an RCA converter box. So we'll see if we find that converter box. If so, we've got all the cords. Hopefully the remote's with it too. A couple of casters, a power cable, a broken frame. Oh, here's another trophy, 2013. All right, broken Christmas ornament. And we got some books. Here's a brand new photo album. That's just the stock photo in it, if you're wondering. So, let's see. Books. Zumba Lover's Cookbook. Some papers. Weight Watcher's Pocket Guide. The Red Book. A journal that does have a lot of stuff in it. Some mail. Here's a receipt book. Someone might buy that. And then a notebook and some junk. And another milk crate that someone might buy for a dollar. Here's another milk crate full of stuff, which has money. There's a dollar right here. I'm gonna be rich. This is. I don't care about money. I am so rich, I'll just rip it up. It's fake, by the way, if you couldn't tell in the video. There's a few of them. Uh, vitamins, aspirin, rather. I don't know what that is. All right, the rest of this is vitamins, lotions, stuff like that. We've got a belt. A weird AC adapter. A foot bath, home addict's foot bath. Someone will probably pay a dollar for this. Some phone cords. Some sort of alarms. I'm not quite sure what they go on, but. Sell them for a dollar. Toothbrush, toothpaste, and some other bathroom stuff. Car chargers for something. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to find the Wii in here? Got a couple more tapes. I'll put those on the pile. Phone case. This is the weirdest toothbrush ever. I thought it was a pair of scissors. That's a toothbrush. Uh, and there goes a spoon.
All right, comments. Wisconsin accent. Yes, I do have a Wisconsin accent. I am from Wisconsin, and I currently live in Wisconsin. And you're watching me in Wisconsin. Wisconsin for the win. All right, got another milk crate. This one has a gross bathroom rug. It has another gross bathroom rug that was sticking to whatever that is. You got a Fisher Price bag, but it's kind of ripped up. And the zipper is tight. Which has happy birthday in it. These are all in pretty rough shape. This one doesn't look too bad though. A little soft cooler. And another milk crate for a dollar. Another milk crate here. We've got. Oh, well, it looks like a bag. There's some books in here too. Just a notepad with a whole bunch of stuff. A record with a bunch of notes in it. Looks like that's all we're gonna get in here. This book is all ripped up, and it's just another notepad. 1994 monthly monitor. Here we've got Happy Mother's Day. Someone will pay a dollar for that. Whoa. Oh, didn't break it. A Toy Story lantern. That'll be a dollar. Phone switcher. Bunch of phone plugs on it. Oh, uh, what else do we have? Just a bunch of addiction exam. Whole bunch of papers here. And that is going to be it for that box. Uh, another plastic tote here. We've got a Broken picture frame, glass everywhere. Uh, what is that? That is a remote for, I'm not sure what this is for, an old remote. Where are my employees? It's Sunday, they are not here. Uh, what do we got here? An old alarm clock. And a cable splitter. And a sticker book. And a notepad, keyboard, and typewriting, it says. A remote with no battery cover. And Power Rangers. All right. This is a really big light, flashlight, but it's kind of busted up. So, uh, yeah, this is junk. You ever hear that horror story where the hook was left on the door handle? This is the hook they're talking about. I don't know what this is. Probably for carrying fish, maybe. I'm not a fisherman, so I don't know. It's a dollar, that's what it is. All right, this box is filled with Papers, all kinds, ooh, this could be good. Never mind, I thought that was a necklace. Oh, a dead spider. Looks like it's all just papers. Looks like a guest book for something. That is junk. For those of you who haven't seen the first video, this is one of those units where I cannot get this stuff back to the family, so as sad as it is, all the personal stuff just gets thrown away. Here is just a box of picture frames. Picture frames really don't sell for much for me. They don't sell at all, unless they're nice ones. Like this would have been a nice one to sell if the glass wasn't all broken. Looks like there's another one here. But the glass is not broken on this one, so I should be able to get a dollar for that.
a little piece of art to hang on the wall. And another broken picture frame. And that is garbage. And that is an empty box. Let's get to this pile. We've got a spin mop here, dollar sale. We've got a little box here, plastic shoe box with cards and pictures and stuff like that. Well, look at that, a hundred dollar bill. Well, wrapping paper, that looks like a hundred dollar bill, but looks like junk. We've got a box full of toys here. This guy looks like, Iron Man looks like he's seen better days. That's empty. Uh, anything interesting in here? Just basic toys, nothing special. I think that's Ghost Rider. Dollar sale. Uh, this one looks like it has some promise. We've got an empty DVD case. Empty game. This though, if it works, then I can clean it up. It is in really rough shape. This should be about 40 bucks. Although, that's a big if on cleaning it up. Now well, what else do we have? This, uh, this could be a few dollars. I'm not 100% certain on that. Furniture mover. And it looks like the rest is videotapes. Here is a this looks almost cut in half, this AC adapter. That will be garbage. Well, we got a few more DVD cases here. Looks to be all empty, though. That one's got a copied movie. So nothing too special here. I'll throw the VHS tape pile. Bag of stuff. Ooh. Oops. Vintage Adidas hat. Clean that up. Probably be worth about 15 bucks on eBay. What is this one? That is in rough shape and it's nothing. Loving people till life. Lot the empty cases up and sell. Someone says, actually, I normally save them because I get a lot of games that don't have cases. But uh, those were in pretty rough shape. Admiral Cruises. What do we got here? More hats. Fila. So I'm going to buy that for a dollar. Oh, this is 90s. Not quite sure what that is, but I'm gonna look that up on eBay because it's bright and it's cool. That's just a blank hat. There's nothing on that hat. That one's got some stars, but no text on it. Those will go on the dollar sale. And we've got a bunch of hair curlers. Garbage. All right, we got a suitcase and this one's kind of heavy. Let's get this one open and see what's in it. Actually, I found a small bag that matches this. You saw it on the older, on the original video, part one. It is Odd Falbert. Oh, that's why it's heavy. It's all magazines and a really destroyed binder. Oh, here's a game. And there is a movie and a game in it. So that's easily a dollar. Well, the game, not the movie. All magazines. Grab a box and throw all these in because they're going to be too heavy for the garbage bag. Lots of throwaway stuff. What is this? Little box, it is empty. We've got a book, The Resolution for Women. 
Why people save this stuff, I have no idea. Like, look at this. Unopened mail from an insurance company. People save too much. I thought I was a hoarder, but at least the stuff I save is cool, not mail. Oh, what do we got here? A notebook with a photocopy of somebody's driver's license, a New York driver's license, and a social security card, a copy of it. And it's not the person whose name is on all the paperwork. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. All right. Well, we got a suitcase, there's a dollar. get it open. Now uh, let's see, some screws and washers, some phone cable, sandpaper, engine degreaser, a valve core removal kit, whatever that is. What in the world? This is some sort of specialized tool for something. I have no idea what for. Maybe for bending pipe? I am not sure, what does it say on here? There you go, three in one tubing bender. So that's what it's for. Or it could be used as a nutcracker, whatever you want to use it for. Let's see, we've got a hammer. This looks like a peg for a bike. And the rest is just general hand tools, screwdrivers and pliers and the handle to a screen door. There's the other bike peg. Ooh, a penny. Found a penny. Copper tubing bender. That's exactly what it is. A nightstick. No, I don't know what this is. That might be a magnet on the end. No? I have no idea what this is used for, but... Oh well, some old fuses. My own fuses looked like this. So some hand, oh, 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 found another penny. So that's, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cents I found so far. Oh, I only paid five bucks for this unit. And I found nine cents in it. Alright, we've got a $5 box fan, which is actually going to be in pretty good shape. And a bag full of stuff. Some gloves that are in rough shape. What in the world? How do they have this organized? This looks like a wicker shelf that you'd put in the corner. We'll throw that in the dollar sale. We've got a mat for a shower. That's gross. We'll go in the garbage. Garbage can. Put this in Oh, maybe we got it here. I think this is the lid. Little gar metal garbage can. Dollar sale. Couple of wall hangings. Dollar sale. And. Another little stainless garbage can that is jammed. Dollar sale. I had a funny bit planned. I was gonna use it to open and close and make it look like the thing was talking. Stupid garbage can. All right, another box that was absolutely crushed. Uh, ooh, we got a little mixer. What brand is this? Darm, Darmeyer, Dormeyer? It is a stand mixer. Uh, we got an old can opener here. We've got a hand mixer. 
I'll pull the rest of this out. So let's see if we can figure out how this hooks on. A vintage stand mixer. I'm sure that's gonna be worth a few bucks locally. This thing looks old. I would probably say it's gotta be 60s maybe. I have no idea. Model 4300. There's no dates on it, but it does have recipes on it. So, nice little old stand mixer. Next box. We've got stainless steel toilet brush. Ugh, that's kind of gross. That'll go in the trash. We've got a portable TV. That'll be worth a few bucks with a tape player on the top. Oh, what else do we have in here? Plastic bags and a little lunch bag. That is just all ripped up inside. Oh, this is pretty cool. I love looking at these old things. This one isn't quite as old as I thought. This is, I would guess, looking at the cameras in it. 2007, 2008. Let's see if there's a date in here. Uh, I don't see a date and I don't really care to look forever. So, garbage. And the rest is garbage. We got a stainless steel garbage can, a kitchen size with stuff in it. Let's see, a little metal bowl. This looks almost like a vacuum attachment or something, I don't know. Turquoise waters bathroom spray. A wax warmer for scents. Ketchup. Uh, it says money gram on it. Looks like maybe an organizer for your desk. Oh, we have vitamins. This just feels like crinkled up paper. And that's it. All right, so this is a little dented on the top. But this thing's worth about five bucks. All right, next. This is kind of falling over. So let's see what we've got. We've got a little toy car. Christmas wreath. And let's see. The rest looks like boots and shoes and stuff like that. All should go. Oh, the bag's coming apart. All shoes. And bubble wrap on the bottom. And then like a, looks like it was part of a garbage can. See what we've got here. Piece of vinyl for something. You know what? I bet these go to what I thought were tent poles as some sort of shelving system. Yeah, and here's all the hardware for it. So all those things stored away somewhere. So it was a shelving system with vinyl shelves. So we'll set that aside. Brand new. All the poles were still sealed. And here we've got a wicker tray. I think this goes in the bottom of a plant stand. So that'll go in the dollar sale. Do not drop, it says. 
Oh, this is all cleaning products for the bathroom. If I can open it. Listerine, toilet bowl cleaner, shampoo, Windex. Garbage. There we go. This box has the last speaker to the stereo system here. We've got an Emerson Bookshelf stereo CD and tape player there. That's probably worth about 20 bucks. Here we've got the other half of the broken stein with some pens and pencils and stuff. So because it's broken, we're just gonna throw it away. We've got, looks like a flag. Job Corps flag, that could be worth some money. So we'll set that aside. I'll fold it up nicely later on. A shirt, Ralph, uh, US Polo. Let's see, we've got Dora the Explorer. And in it, it has, looks like this junk. Get a little Spongebob watch. Someone might pay a dollar for that. Motrin B. I think that's medicine. My little Bible. Oh, oh, oh. Did not mean to do that. Ugh. I didn't hurt it. Don't worry. And the rest of it... Looks like junk. Well, we got some books that look like they've seen better days, but maybe they'll sell. Got a little lunchbox. This is probably a pencil case. It says 50 state quarters on it. So it looks like it's, uh, for putting the state quarters in for kids to collect. Doesn't look like any of them have quarters though, unfortunately. Nope. Let someone pay a dollar for that. Let's see, more books, eye drops, flashcards, papers. Happy Mother's Day 2012 on a rock. All right, let's move some of these boxes. This is an organizer for something. I'm not quite sure what. I have no idea. I already filled up another garbage bin. Yeah, it's full. Uh, let's see, piece of broken glass. A little wooden crate. A bathroom toilet seat cover and the matching. Well, that's the toilet seat cover. The other one goes on the floor. Look at this, an old Pokemon paper tablecloth. I bet some collector will pay something for this. I think that's Pokemon. It looks like Charmander. See, my videos are crap, but at least I can get an applause. All right, what else do we got? Some vinyl, I think that's a tablecloth. A shoe organizer, looks to be brand new. And pedal exerciser. Look how excited she is to exercise. That's the 90s for you. And that is it, besides some dust and dirt. So, we got another empty box here to fill up. Another milk crate with stuff in it. This one has another spin mop. 
I can get it out. We're gonna spin them up. So there's three of them now. Extension cord, a glove, some sheet protectors, and a phone. That's gotta be worth a dollar. And another empty milk crate. We've got an Epson printer here, a wireless printer. If this works, probably about 50 bucks on eBay. It's not in terrible condition. Here we've got a Sony bookshelf speaker and a stereo. There's nothing in the bottom of the box, but it's in pretty rough shape. So, um, you know, if it works, 20 bucks maybe. Now here is the box that I tried to show you earlier that I couldn't get to. Uh, this one I saw as soon as I bought the unit. Box full of vinyl. Let's see, it looked to be mostly disco. A lot of disco albums in here. Well, let's see. We're going to see if there's anything decent in there, anything special. Album is being reissued. For rating, per for review purposes only. Probably not worth anything, but a lot of disco stuff in here. Could have some value. You know, probably about 30 bucks worth of records here. I'll take that, especially since I only paid five for the unit. falling apart. Let's see, we've got some clothes, Winnie the Pooh coloring books all whipped up. Bunch of baby clothes, look like it's in decent shape. This doll doesn't have a date on it. Look at the hair. Someone will pay a dollar for that. Bingo. Uh, let's see. We've got some old textbooks, look at this. College typewriting. What is the year on this book? 1980. Holt Algebra One. Electronic calculators. Personal awareness in business. Foundation building. Well, just some old textbooks. You can live forever in paradise on earth. I don't know about you, but I'm in paradise. Vintage people on eBay will love that typing book, someone says. All right, I'll set it aside and we'll look it up. But other than that, it looks like junk. Right, we'll just throw this over here. Just more papers, some pictures, nothing of value. This thing is brand new inside. Obviously the box is destroyed, but inside it's brand new. It looks like it's just the trays though. I can't tell, let's pull it out. If I can get it out, the box is kind of mashed up. I don't want to destroy the box because, you know, it's new. Well, this just does not want to cooperate. Now, oh, I guess I will have to mess around with this later. Whoops. I might need to cut open the box to get to it. But yeah, it looks like it is just the trays for it. So uh, I don't know how much value that's going to be. 
So it's the divider and the three trays. Maybe we'll find the rest of it in here somewhere. We got a lid for something. Sprinkler and the chair. Oh, what's in this box? A couple of hand tools and that is it. And the rest is clothes, jeans mostly. American Hawk, is that like knockoff American Eagle? So that is all clothes. Yeah. All right, here we've got a blanket. Los Angeles Rockets hat, some afghans. All right, let's see, we got a water bottle, Arctic Zone, some Christmas stuff. Looks like a lot of Christmas stuff. Look, can someone give me a hand? Get it? Oh, let's see. You come for the education, you stay for the bad jokes. We got a toilet brush. And the garbage. That one's glass, so I gotta be careful. Looks like the rest of it is going to be Christmas stuff. And AOL, you get two months free. Oh, here's another AOL. Oh, there's a whole bunch of those in here. So we've got Christmas lights, more Christmas lights, and a bunch of AOL discs. 1175 hours free. And 10.99 hours free, 10.45 hours free. This might have some collectible value, but I don't know how much. There's probably eight or 10 of them in there and the rest is Christmas stuff. And that's that for that box. Couple more left over here. There's a shoe box in here, and so far every shoe box has had mail. And this one doesn't. It's got Christmas stuff. So that will go in the dollar sale. We've got one toy in this box. I'll just throw the box away. How's this for an old lighter? Oh, looks like a napkin rack. Playing card serving trays. Just some kitchen odds and ends. Let's see, we've got... Got an Illinois license plate, an old one from 2002. So we'll sell that. Read this first, no thank you. We got some thank you cards. And this is caught in here. A necklace that's nothing special. No precious metals or anything. Who else's family had this in the bathroom? When I was growing up, my family had that in the bathroom. All right, cards. Here's some more thank you cards. Stick them up. We got a hair dryer. Let's see, what's in here? Uh, 2008 pocket calendar. Well, if it was 10 years ago, I'd be able to use it. Ankle weights. Wait, no, that's not what that is. Is it? Ankle weights, I guess, yeah. It looked like it was some sort of tool, but it's just coming apart, it looks like. All Pro Contour Foam. So yeah, that's gonna be an ankle weight. Uh, what is this? Little Avon candle. You got another one of these, but this one does not have really anything on the back. 
This looks handmade. And there's a big printer in here too, but it is in really rough shape. A Lexmark, probably not going on eBay. I will probably put it in the dollar sale. And looks like a stopwatch. All right, next box. We've got seven boxes left. Still looking for the gold bars. And they're not going to be in here. This is all Christmas stuff. Lots of Christmas lights. A big ball of Christmas lights, Clark Griswold style. Believe it or not, holiday stuff, Easter, Christmas, and stuff does sell in the dollar sales. Oh, time for new gloves. Hands get sweaty and dry in these things. But anyone who wears these for a living, doctors, nurses, dentists, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's get to the next one. Uh, we've got... A phone, unit and phone, cordless. Put a new battery in, probably get 20 bucks for that. Another hair dryer, an antenna, a picture, looks like a swimsuit. What is in here? Girl tech, looks like some electronic children's toys. Here we go. This is the remote for that converter box stuff we found right here. We just haven't found the converter box yet. And the rest of this looks like magazines. Here's the instructions to put together some sort of shelving unit. Papers, magazines, the rest of that is done. Oh, more of these knives. I don't remember if it was this video or the last one, but I found like three or four packs of those already. A wooden horse, no markings on it for a maker, but that's worth a few bucks. This is just paper. All right, all right, this could be some decent stuff. We got a Toshiba TV remote. That's probably about 10 bucks on eBay. We've got an RCA remote, but no battery cover. And we've got a Sanyo remote, but no battery cover. This is, oh, we got a wallet. Looks like it's just space for credit cards and other than a little piece of paper, it's empty. We've got a mug for Atlanta, Georgia. Another wallet. Nope, nothing, nada, nil. Apex remote, generic DVD remote. We got an old set of headphones, so I'm gonna pay a dollar for that. Uh, what is, oh, oh, eh. It's a tablet, it's just a Polaroid tablet. Oh, there's a couple in here, there we go. We've got two Kindles, and we've got a Polaroid tablet, and they were stacked in this thing. So, um, doesn't look like there's anything else in there. If they work, probably got a hundred bucks for all three of them combined. If they don't work, well, probably still about twenty bucks in parts. I'm sure someone will buy them. So I will set those aside. Uh, let's see, glue and used batteries and flash cards and the instructions for a swivel mop and this has the olympics logo certificate of appreciation let it be known that preferred customer has awarded the honor to uh, certificate of su support looks like all junk junk mail and then we got some power adapters here Set those aside in case they go to tablets. I don't think they do. And 
the rest is garbage. So those tablets were a nice find. Oh, a box of videotapes. This, this family had so many videotapes. Let's see what we got in this one. Locker Room Productions. Uh, let's see, lots of tablecloths and uh, I don't know what's in these. Some vintage paper tablecloths, so I might pay a few dollars for that. I think these are placemats. All different placemats. And this bag is I would guess another tablecloth. Dollar sale, written all over it. I don't expect much from this box because it says Christmas on top of it. And that's exactly what's in it. This is a candy cane that I would eat, size-wise at least. Some Christmas figurines and bowl of pine cones. So it is what it says on the box. Christmas stuff. But still sellable. I'll probably get piecing it out in the dollar sale. Ten bucks for all this. blades for that ceiling fan I found. So at least that saves me from throwing that in the garbage. We've got a 1997 appointment book. Uh, just some cable and phone cords. Life stories game, so I might buy that. There's another fan blade. What do we have here? Sidewalk chalk. A puzzle. Picture frame. A rose. There was no glass on that, so I was comfortable tossing it in the box a couple feet away if you're wondering. Uh, let's see, we've got some kids' books. Planning the future. Building English skills. Uh, let's see, some folders. Looks like it's mostly books in here, which would explain why it was so heavy. Looks like some extra light bulbs for Christmas lights. Christmas ornaments. This is an older looking address book, but obviously junk. So mostly books and stuff. All right, here it is. The last box this storage unit. It's got writing on it. It says, I love you, babe, always. I think it says, my favorite chica, besties you dig, ma loita for life. It's very bad penmanship. All right, what's in here? We've got a stuffed animal. We've got blank paper. We've got a serving dish. We've got towels and bedding. A sweatshirt. This one isn't a fun box. Uh, the lid for something. Let's see, we've got an ashtray. A pair of pliers. 
This looks like it's all going to be blankets. And a purse. A wicker purse with a pair of sandals in it. And a flower headband. And that is it for this storage unit. Flyers, I, I missed that. Uh, hello, Pensacola. So, that is this storage unit. I paid five dollars, let me get in the frame here. I paid five dollars for this storage unit. Um, I'm gonna make some decent money. It would not be a good unit if it cost me 50 or 100 dollars just because of the level of trash involved. I'll have about a pallet that'll be about four feet tall full of trash. Um, a lot of dollar sale stuff. I'll probably make three or four hundred dollars in the dollar sale, but that's not going to be until March. As far as stuff that's going on eBay, Amazon, auction, and local sales, I don't know. Two, three hundred dollars, maybe a little more, depending on what those tablets pay out to be and whatever these end up being. So I'd say it was well worth the five dollars I spent. Remember, I got that big barbecue grill and the loft bed too. Those are probably going to be about a hundred dollars each. The table and bar stools. You were wondering if there's any way you could buy some phones you were going to scrap at the dollar sale. I, really, I wasn't going to scrap them, I was going to put them in the dollar sale. But yeah, if you want to buy me some phones, send me an email, resellerabbit at gmail.com. Um, so yeah, I did all right. I'll probably, once all is said and done, everything, not including the unknowns, make about five, six, seven hundred bucks or so. I'm happy with it. Five dollars well spent. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try to do a little update on it in a month or so after I do the uh, dollar sale. But that's all I got for this video. What time is it anyway? It is 4.30, so the Super Bowl's in an hour. So uh, don't expect a summary video on this one today because I've got to clean up so I can go watch the Super Bowl. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go Eagles. I'm not an Eagles fan, but I hate the Patriots. And I will see you in the next one.